Hey guys, so I am officially, I guess, a little over one month into my second year of college. And today I figured that I would give you guys just a short little list of like eight things that I have learned so far in college. Like the things that I didn't know about college before going into it or things that I'm still learning as I go because I'm struggling a lot with keeping everything balanced. So today I thought that I'd start giving some tips that I myself can start to follow and you guys can start to follow and hopefully it's not everything that you've already been told a thousand times. So number one, don't be afraid to get involved. My first year of college I didn't do anything and although it is good to take some time to get yourself used to the new schedule of college and make yourself as comfortable in this new environment as possible, getting involved is something that you still need to be doing. Look online on their websites and discover what kind of clubs that they have or different different events that are going on at campus that you can go to that interest you. Personally, I went ahead and tried out for this dance show this year because I heard about it and I just said, why the hell not? And I made it. So now I've made a bunch of new friends, which kind of leads me into my next topic, which is don't be afraid to make friends and don't be afraid to talk to people. This is something that I definitely struggle with. I am very socially anxious and I struggle in environments that I'm not used to with people that I'm not comfortable with yet. So talking to people, especially when I'm entering something that's like a bunch of people that are best friends and have been together for a couple of years doing this show or whatever, that can be a little scary. But I have made a lot of new friends and I've been talking to all these people and getting more comfortable with them and that's really good and I think that's really healthy for me to be able to reach out and get to know more people that are interested in the same things that I am. I've also joined a couple of clubs and I'm doing some volunteer work which is also helping me a lot mentally as well. Another thing that kind of ties into all this is being able to balance everything. Don't bite off more than you can chew, which I guess would be number three. Getting involved is great, but if you join like 17 clubs and events and you also have to pile on your schoolwork and if you have a job you have to go to work and then you have all the stuff you have to do at home or in your dorm or whatever and that can get really crazy too. That I guess is mostly why I wanted to make this video because I am currently so stressed out. I feel tired all the time because I have put so much on my plate, especially for this month, because I decided that it would be a good idea to join like three new clubs and a dance event and then pile on my schoolwork and then pile on my job and then pile on veto on top of it. So I'm definitely struggling to balance this month and get everything organized and situated and then I'm like trying to figure out my study abroad program for next year and it's all crazy but I'll get there yeah just don't stress yourself out too much which ties into number four take care of yourself if you're feeling overwhelmed or you're feeling stressed don't be afraid to kind of take a break from everything for a day or something like don't skip classes but I mean I know people do maybe if your friend says hey you want to go see a movie maybe pass on it maybe take a night to just relax and drink some tea and take a bath or something give yourself some me time to keep yourself relaxed and able to breathe but also don't procrastinate I have discovered that if I know about something I have of time and I get it done as soon as possible, a lot of stress can be relieved. If you know you have a huge project or paper due on Friday and you learn about it on Monday, get started on planning it on Monday. Maybe you don't have to start executing it, but planning it is one of the most important parts of writing a paper or drawing something for an art class or whatever. And I know that's rich coming from me because I've been like the queen of procrastination for so long, but I have learned that it is a lot less stressful on you if you get everything done as soon as you possibly can. I don't even know what number I'm on now. Six, maybe? I don't know. Eat healthy and take care of yourself. That is something that I'm not very good at because it is so easy to just go through a drive through and pick up a sandwich on your way to work or school or wherever you're going, but it's kind of a waste of money after a while and it's not healthy for you at all. You're gonna want to try to eat healthier every once in a while, maybe make some snacks at home or in your dorm and take them with you. Go grocery shopping every once in a while, it's very helpful. And exercising is incredibly important because those long walks back and forth between your classes and your dorm or your classes in the parking lots are going to get very long and very tiring very quickly if you don't stay active. Okay, number whatever, stay safe. 
And this is probably something that you have heard a thousand times, but I am going to drill it into your head. Partying and drinking is very dangerous, and I remember there was like a party I was going to go to with my friends last year, I think it was, at one of my friend's universities, and oh my god, it was really just sketchy and not okay. We walked all the way down to this house that we knew a party was at that one of her friends was throwing, and when we got there, we could hear screaming coming from inside. It sounded like just like a bunch of guys fighting, and we could hear things being thrown. So we kind of dipped out of there as fast as we possibly could because that was not a safe environment for us and we knew that it wouldn't be safe and it probably wouldn't be very fun. So know your limits and stay safe and if you feel uncomfortable, there's probably police escorts that could walk you anywhere. And you know, just stick with friends that you trust because you need them to be there for you just as much as they need you to be there for them. And my last and final tip is don't touch the geese. They have teeth on their tongues and they will not hesitate to bite you. That's all I have for you. So, um, yeah, those are my tips for college. And I just realized that I've been using my hands throughout this entire video and it's probably very distracting and I'm very sorry about that. But thank you for watching my video and I will be back tomorrow for another video. Happy, what day of October is it? It is mm, 9th of October.